So, so what we're going to do is we're going to talk about Sly Broadcast, how to get voicemail drops with Lofty. I'm going to show you how to integrate it, how to record the voicemails, and some of the voicemail drops that I use on my team uh, that have worked really, really well over the last 15 years. So let's click and share my screen and get into it. So this is inside of Lofty. So the way that you set up the integration for a Sly Broadcast is, of course, you have to have a Sly Broadcast account. Then you go into settings. And if you have a company or enterprise team account with Lofty, you have to change it from office or company to personal. Once you change it to personal, then you'll see integrations right here. And you can see mine's connected already, but you'd go scroll down to where it says Sly Broadcast, click connect, sign in with your login credentials, click on configure consent settings, and then select both of these. This will automatically be selected and then select this one as well. What this is, is there's new user consent that Lofty has now when they went through uh, the TCPA regulations and all that. So just making sure that only people that have given consent to uh, receive these types of pre-recorded voicemails will. So click confirm. The really cool thing about Lofty and Sly Broadcast is their phone doesn't even ring. They just get a notification that says they have a voicemail and then your voicemail is in their inbox, which is pretty cool. So once it's integrated, um, I'll show you how to record the voicemails uh, and then how to get them into Lofty. So to record the voicemails, you go into Sly Broadcast. Uh, you'll just automatically be on the dashboard initially. What you can do is you click uh, Manage Audio. And then over in the left-hand side, if you record something on your phone and there's like an MP4 file or some sort of audio file, you can use that to upload. Or the easiest and simplest way is just with a phone number. So you click Create New Recording. And then right here where it says Sly Broadcast Recording Center, you click on that and then you just call this number and it will prompt you like leaving a voicemail and then that particular recording will be inside of Sly Broadcast. Really cool. Uh, the way that I figured out which uh, voicemails to do is I basically just spent a lot of time calling leads within Lofty. And um, after calling leads, a lot of times I realized there's certain voicemails that I kept on continually leaving that could just be automated. So this is inside of the smart plan. Let's go back to slide broadcast and go back to manage audio and then scroll down. You can see some of the ones that I've created. So I'll actually turn the mic up here so you should be able to hear this. So let's say this particular one, this is a one that I've had running for quite a while. It's 45 seconds. So let's play this. This is when people sign up on the website. Hi, this is Corey Prince with Countrywide Real Estate Group. I just wanted to say thanks so much for checking out our website. Uh, I'm one of the co-founders and co-owners of the company and the website, so I actually designed it. So it's really cool, and I know people are checking it out and visiting there. And I just wanted to say hello and see if there was anything I could do to make your search easier or adjust it or anything like that. If you just reply by text or give me a call back on this number, uh, 604-270-8774, I can do that for you. And I just wanted to say thanks for even just the opportunity to potentially earn some business here. This is literally how we put food on the table for all of our kids here at Countrywide. So just checking out the site, just using us as a service really, really means the world to us. So I really appreciate that. Hope you go for the soon. So that's just one of the, the videos or one of the videos, one of the voicemails that goes out pretty shortly after they sign up. You can trigger within uh, Lofty for them to sign up and then get a delay or only come in during, during certain hours or after a certain thing happens, uh, voicemail goes out. So here's uh, another one. Let's see what else. Doubling down. So here's one. Corey Intro, good afternoon. Saw you looked at listings on the site. Let's take a listen to this one. Uh, good afternoon. It's Corey Prince with uh, Countrywide Real Estate Group. Uh, I noticed that you looked at some listings on our site in the not uh, too distant past. And I just wanted to make sure I wasn't spamming you with listings. So if you could just reply back by text or give me a call and let me know sort of what you're looking for and in what areas. I don't want to unsubscribe you if you're still looking, and I don't want to spam you with a bunch of listings you're not interested in. So just let me know. It's 604-270-8774. I hope you have a great day. Take care. So again, these are voicemails that will drop into their particular account. And the really cool thing is, is it just happens automatically. Once you design the way it's going to be and how it's going to work, they just happen in the background and it's amazing. So now you know how to integrate Lofty and Sly Broadcast. You know how to record these uh, recordings. And then when we jump into the marketing section here of Lofty, you click on marketing on smart plans, and then you can have your smart plans to do uh, these types of drips. 
So here's one that I use for, um, let me see this one. Yeah, so this is when somebody requests a showing or leaves a message, and I want this to go out 10 minutes after that happens, because often, you know, the team or myself will be in like a meeting and we can't call them right then, but we want them to know that we're on it and we want them to reply and engage with us. So I'll play this one real quick. It's only 18 seconds. Hi, it's uh, Corey Prince with Countrywide Real Estate Group. I got your uh, showing slash information request for that property. Uh, just give me a text or a call back at 604-270-8774. 604-270-8774. So those are three core ones. The, the way that I developed how uh, or what these particular voicemails would say was just by calling a lot of leads and prospecting a lot. And in doing so, it kind of comes to the surface, the ones that are going to have the biggest impact. So let me show you exactly how to set one of these up. So you go into Smart Plans. If you have uh, an individual account, you'd have My Smart Plans. Click Add New and then click standard plan, click start. And then once you have um, slide broadcast integrated, of course, you'd name it something like, let's say voicemail, um, you can select uh, different uh, lead, tar lead types. So let's say it only works when somebody says they're a buyer or works for a buyer or a seller or whatever it happens to be. Then you click to trigger. Trigger here is what's gonna trigger what actually happens. So what causes this particular thing to happen? Do you want it to happen when the lead is created, like a brand new uh, sign up, for instance, or when they request a showing or they view a property three times or something like that. So let's do, let's say uh, lead is uh, created, click that one. Put here, you can do uh, pipeline logic is new. So whenever the pipeline is new, which is the default pipeline in Lofty, so every new lead comes in as, uh, as uh, new, click Save, and then you can create the action. So you scroll down or you go over to Actions and click on uh, here. These are all the different actions you can do as a smart plan step in Lofty. So if you go down to the bottom left-hand corner, because I have Slide Broadcast integrated, it's going to show that. It's going to have the call number to display, which you can edit if you want. And then you can click on here and you can select whatever ones you have. These are all the ones that are in Sly Broadcast like I just showed you. So then you can select whatever you want. You can do it as a delay. You can do it as immediately. For instance, let's say within 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. and you wait uh, immediately, meaning if it was between those hours, it would go out immediately. If it was the middle of the night, it would wait till 8 a.m. to trigger. Or you could do wait um uh, 10 minutes within these hours too. So it's really up to you the way you want to configure this and then click save. I think I call this one voicemail. So there it is right there. So yeah, let me make sure that one isn't turned on. Okay, good. So, so that's basically the gist of how it's done. Uh, let's show some other ones here just so you can get an idea of how this all works. So scroll down. One that actually works really, really good is this one right here, future listing. So I have a tag called future listing when we're talking with a customer and they're like, oh, yeah, we're going to sell at some point, but they're not ready to go now. Obviously, you're going to call them yourself and you're going to follow up as much as possible. But we get lots and lots of leads and we want to make sure these don't fall between the cracks. So we click this on and this goes on for... How long a period of time? For two years. And they get this first one is 33 seconds. And then I'll just play the first one. You can see there's like a series of different voicemails that I recorded. So here's the one that goes up 49 days after we talked and they added that tag. Hi, it's uh, Corey Prince with Countrywide Real Estate Group. I uh, hope you're doing really well. I just wanted to give you a call and let you know that I hadn't forgot about you. Uh, at some point, you'd expressed an interest to potentially sell your home. I'm not sure if that time is now. If it is, just give me a call back. We've got some really, really amazing promotions that'll save you a ton of money. And our market is really, really hot. So we've been getting amazing, amazing prices uh, for our sellers. My cell phone is 604-270-8774. 604-270-8774. So the interesting thing about that voicemail is I think I recorded it like four or five years ago. So it just still works. Um, you can do any variation that you think that would make sense. For instance, we do voicemail drops when people um, uh, request a showing, voicemail drops when they view a listing 
three times for the first time, when they save a listing. There's all these different like milestone moments in their process as a buyer, which we think makes sense for them to get a voicemail drop, hear my voice, hear the agent's voice who's going to help them, whatever it happens to be, so that when they are ready to make that particular uh, move and they want to reach out about a property, they kind of feel like they know you a bit already. So that's kind of the gist of how to set it up. So let me go through it one last time. So you go into settings, personal integrations, and then set up Sly Broadcast, uh, logging in and connecting your credentials. Then you go into Sly Broadcast after you create an account and add some credits to it. You can record uh, on your phone and then just upload that recording file, or you can just call the Sly Broadcast Recording Center, and then it's basically like leaving a voicemail that will prompt you. Uh, and then you can use those in the manage audio section here, which will be integrated and will be inside of Lofty. And then you go into Lofty, you click on marketing, smart plans, add new, and then you just create a smart plan with one of the steps as being a, uh, a voicemail drop. And it doesn't have to be just a smart plan that only has one step. It could be a series going through. And then after a certain amount of time, one of the steps in the smart plan is a voicemail, which is one way I do it as well. So yeah, that's the gist of it. I will uh, uh, be happy to answer any questions about smart plans or about how this all works. If anybody is curious, let's put it in the chat or unmute and let's hear it. Let's go. I see we got Cheryl. I think Mike is here as well. Does anybody have any questions about how I did that setup? Uh, or about maybe how it would be applicable for them. Crickets? <laughs> Crickets. <laughs> Is that Mike? I don't hear you. Are you there? Yeah, no. Cool. So that's basically the generalized setup of it. I'll talk a little bit about the the way that I've chosen what voicemails to send. I sort of touched on it in the video already. But basically, just trying to guess on what voicemails you should send out really hasn't worked very well for me. What has worked the best is just getting in the trenches, making phone calls, doing the work, continuing to follow up and build rapport with people. Excuse me. And then in doing so, I realized, okay, this voicemail I always leave at this time and it's always the same, except for I mentioned their name on it. So could I send this voicemail where it doesn't have their name and would it still have value? I would still have impact and it would clearly not be something that I automated. I don't want them to think that it's automated. I want them to think it's a personal touch. And mm -hmm. if that's the case, then I go, okay, well, let's do that one. So I implement that one at that one time. And then as time goes on, if it gets um, another one that's like that, like the, like for instance, the future listing sequence, that's two years. I, what I found was I had lots of people I talked to that were potential sellers and they just had so many leads coming in and so much going on that I'd have a list of them to call but I just wouldn't do it as frequently as I needed to. So I'm like, okay, they still need to be touched and I'll call them as much as I can. But if I get busy in production, which we all do, then I still want them to get those emails or those voicemails every you know, six months or every three months or whatever. And over the course of those two years, oftentimes what you'll do is you'll get a text back in the system that says, oh, hey, Corey, thanks for the voicemail. We Strange timing. We actually are thinking of selling now. Had I not had that voicemail drop in there, they probably wouldn't have thought of me. They probably wouldn't have texted me back. So really, really powerful stuff. Um, I will share some more best practices in the community as time goes on about this. And I